Magic of Math here, and today we're going to be subtracting using a number line. Here's our question today. We're asked to consider this expression, negative 3 subtract 5. Which of the following number lines represents this expression? And you're given four choices, A, B, C, and D, and asked to identify the number line that represents this expression. Go ahead and pause, identify your expression, come back to check your work. Welcome back. So once again, we get negative 3, subtract 5, and we're identifying the number line that represents this expression. So let's make sure we understand that we have our first value in our expression, negative 3. Our operation is subtract, and our second number value is positive 5. So let's go over some steps to learn how to subtract using a number line. Three easy steps. Step 1 we're always going to start at zero on our number line. So let's identify zero on each of our number lines in each of our four answer choices. Step two, if the first number is positive, we're gonna draw an arrow right that many units. If the first number is negative, draw an arrow left that many units. So we can see, I wrote step two in purple, our first value is negative three. That means we're gonna go because it's negative, we're going to draw an arrow left three units. So starting at zero right here, we're going to go left three units, and it matches choice A. Here, starting at zero, we're going to go left three units. It matches. Starting at zero, left three units. Starting at zero, left three units. So we can't even eliminate any of our four answer choices because they all began at zero and went left three units. Next step, starting where the first arrow ended, if it is subtract a positive number, we're gonna draw an arrow left that many units. If it is subtract a negative, we're gonna draw an arrow right that many units. So when you subtract something, you're taking away, right? You learn that at a very young age. So we're gonna go left five. If five were negative, we would be changing to add the opposite because we were subtracting a negative. So we would kind of go subtract and then it would be negative so we would change direction. So think of a negative number as changing direction. All right, now our second value is five, positive five. So we know that seeing as we're subtracting a positive number, we're gonna go left. So we're gonna start from where our arrow left off and we're gonna go left five. So we can already see that choice A is going to be eliminated because they went to the right 5 instead of the to the left. So let's eliminate A. Down here, we're going to start where this arrow left off. We're going to go left 5 units. We can see that they didn't do that. So we're going to eliminate choice B. Choice C, again, from where we left off at negative 3, we're going to go left. They went to the right. We're going to eliminate that. Let's hope choice D does it going to go left 5 and identify our answer of negative 8, answer choice D. So that is the number line that represents negative 3 subtract 5, which is negative 3 add the opposite. So negative 3 add negative 5 is indeed negative 8, answer choice D. So that is how we subtract using a number line. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.